everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 43. Wow. It seems like it has been ages. This is war number one, and let me tell you, a lot of us are not happy that the season is here. Um, Kaban has implemented this new defensive placement. And it has one big glaring issue that is an issue for anyone that has a different mastery setup for defense other than what they normally run. And the majority of high-level competitive alliances do. And there are also those who are not highly competitive that still don't like this. Um, we're hoping that they will change it. We really are. Uh, but anyway, we're going up against an alliance called Greek Rebels. And uh, let's see who they have banned. All right, Ghost, Kingpin, and uh, Kitty Pride. All right, let's spectate here. All right, so I'm still taking path three in uh, both sections. And I always hate when I see this guy because you really want a counter for him. So I'm going to have to go in with someone that preferably doesn't have any buffs or can take this guy pretty easily. Uh, I'm thinking Titania. All right. He doesn't gain armor ups. So I don't have to worry about this electric defense or uh, spaced armor or anything like that. Backboard brawler, that I might need to be worried about. My normal aggressive style, I don't want to push him all the way to the wall if I can help it. And then we've got this guy who is just an annoying defender um, at the best of times. So I can bring someone in for him, like I could bring in a, a Namor or, um, wow, I can bring in Namor or Archangel or um, I think Gallon could probably do it as well. I'll have to discuss this and see the best person that I should bring in, but right now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Titania might be able to take him, boost it up. I'll just have to be very careful of the uh, reverberation armor, which I hate. Um, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to kick the dust off because um, it's been a while. Uh, this Korg. When Whenever they put defenders like this, I don't think I'm going to have room unless I'm not going to take anyone else. Otherwise, I'm going to bring Claire uh, for that. Um, the middle, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-mm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, so the last time I fought this guy, uh, I used Magneto. So that's who I'm going to go in with, uh, and I'll let them know that I'll bring uh, Red Mags for that fight. So that means somebody else needs to deal with this Korg, because um, if I bring Titania for this path, Magneto for this path, and uh, I'm going to have to bring in, uh, let me think, Warlock seems to be the best. They didn't ban him this time. Uh, and he's good for this meta. Um, I think he should be good for that uh, Toad. And should be good for, yeah, for this Shocker as well. I don't know. I don't have to worry about the uh, global on him. 
can't remember. Does he get armor ups? Because those glancings, man, are just so freaking annoying. Um, defenders bleeds. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it might be a very annoying fight. Uh, if he gets a lot of armor ups, and um, I don't think he does. Um, but Warlock should be able to do this fight, unless this guy. I, I don't know enough about him. Um, I, I got to look him up before I go in here. Um, if he stacks like tons of armor ups, that can be a very long fight. Very, very long fight. And then we've got Toad, who does benefit from the global, but Warlock also has uh, an armor up and the attacker tactic should be able to counter that. And... Uh, I won't be dealing with that uh, Nimrod. And then we've got uh, Boss Island here. Um, I will wait and see what they say. I'm not seeing anybody um, that my team is particularly good for. Um, Warlock, maybe, against... Um, Bishop, if I don't bleed him, perhaps, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, but look, look around you guys that are interested to see who people are placing. Keep in mind, this is just the first war. So... Um, there's no telling, but yeah, that's their defense, uh, there. All right. Uh, not looking forward to it, but let's get on with the fighting. All right. So this is the team that I decided to go in with, you know, we've got the Magneto, we've got Warlock and we've got Titania. You know why I brought Titania, right? And let me tell you, definitely not my best war. Uh, first war of the season in a while. Very rusty. And I went in here and I made uh, a couple of mistakes, in fact. Um, one mistake, and we'll talk about that one later, was really a mistake of ignorance i didn't know something and i learned uh in this war all right so you can see i'm buffing up i'm always going to use uh some sort of buff uh as far as the war buffs go i may or may not use one but i'll always try to use at least uh the two buffs that you see there attack boost attack and health boost all right, and we already know about the uh, buffs we have to deal with. Titania, pretty straightforward fight. You know, get that heavy attack in and just go on in. I should have uh, been a little bit more aggressive, but I'm trying not to push him all the way to the right uh, so that he won't get. See how I'm backing off? I don't want him to get an armor up. Um, due to that backyard uh, brawler thing. All right. So now I'm all the way to the left, which I don't like, and I'm trying to get him to fire his special. And of course, his prompt is to use a special, but he still isn't using it. And now I'm all the way in the corner. I'm like, come on. There we go. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. All right. So here we go. Doing another... Just taking this fight, you know, pretty easy. I don't know if that's the proper way to fight with Titania. She seems to be one that benefits more from uh, aggressive playstyle, but that back yard, was it backyard or back room uh, brawler? But, you know, he's almost done. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now I'm just like, yeah, I'm coming in. Bam. You know, finally I didn't worry about 
pushing him against the wall because I was finishing him off. Um, so now, first mistake. And I can't even blame this on anything other than Rusty. Can somebody tell me why I decided to go into this fight with Titania? Somebody tell me why. And it's not that she can't do the fight, perhaps, but that was a very, very bad decision on my part. Okay, very bad. All right, so you see here, got the stagger up, right? See, I didn't even care about that special one because I was still invulnerable. And just look at this. Look at this. Look at his health. Look at my health. Okay. Just look at this. Not cool. Not cool at all. You got the reverberation now that you got to worry about. I'm just like, why? Why did I do this? Okay. I was trying to wait out the reverberation armor. Maybe I shouldn't have. And and just look at him. Look at his health. Look at this, man. This is ridiculous. There is no way I should have done this, okay? Uh, maybe I'm playing her wrong, but I don't think she was a good option for this fight. And had I been thinking properly, I perhaps would not have done this, okay? Um, this fight just does not go well, okay? You can already see how this fight is going. Look at this. Just getting whooped up on. I'm in the corner. I cannot evade that um, heavy attack of his. So look at this. This is just sad. Look at that. Bam. Finally, he put me out of my misery. I was just shaking my head because I knew shortly after going into this fight that I should not have done that. And I'm just standing here and I'm looking at it and I'm just like, wow. Really? Why did I do that? Can't think about why I did that. So I'm like, all right. You know, <laughs> yeah, just like a uh, warlock was doing, just scratching my head like, what, 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 what was I thinking? And so I'm just like, all right, this is who I should have gone in here with. Now I want you to watch how this fight goes. Okay, look at this. Remember, he's a global attacker. Look at, look, look, look at the health. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at look at look at this. Why? Why did I go in there with Titania? I don't know. Look at this. Look at this fight. Can you believe it? Look at his health now. Now, how's he feeling? Okay. Look at this. Easy. Nice armor break. Don't got to worry about that reverberation armor now. And the fight's over. Why did I go in there with Titania? I do not know. Now, I heard that Warlock is uh, in there as a seven star. Um, I think the Titan Crystals are uh, have him in there. All right, so this next fight, Mini... We already know who we're going to choose for this one. I'm familiar with this fight. So um, I'm not expecting any issues. Okay. I know I have to delay a little bit. Like right there, I dexed. So now he has his... Um, there we go. Uh, so what happened right there in the beginning? Uh, out of habit, I dexed, which gave me a buff. It got nullified and he was able to get that regen. Don't want that, okay? So I was backing off, backing off until I could get him magnetized, until the regen was over. Now you're gonna see me, I'm not trying to dex anymore, okay? Now at this point, no more dexing, if I can help it. Um, just parry heavy and just take all the blocked hits. Not my usual style of playing, but that's what works with him. And look at that. 
Wasn't that fun? But that's fine because it's Magneto. And this is a rank three Magneto. Okay? And I've never really felt the need to take him all the way up. Yeah, he can dex, but I can't dex. All right? And then the fight's over. Party's over. Go to sleep. Boom. Done. Now, there is a war coming up where they put him there and then they ban Magneto. We got an answer for that too. But in this war, not a problem. All right, next up, we've got Shocker. And I've fought Shocker before. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't think he gets armor ups. So I'm just going to go in here with Warlock, is who I was planning on bringing anyway. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Look at this. Looking good. Looking good. Look at that. Power burn. D-Gen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Warlock is great. Look at this. Woo! I'm just dexing him. Yeah. What you got? Got nothing. Got nothing. So let me get to that special two. Up. And then he auto blocks. And I'm like, oh no. Bam. Unblockable suddenly. Okay. I'm like, okay, you got 1%. Parry. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I'm sitting back. I'm like, what you gonna do? Oh, unblockable. Oh yeah. I caught. What? Another unblock. Y'all don't know how I was screaming over this. Over that. That was a bunch of bull, okay? I was like, man, if I lose that fight, I y'all y'all would have been hearing me until this day. I sat here and I was just like, I don't believe it. So I I, I closed the game down, got some more energy so I could keep going. Because I know I'm gonna need to use Warlock later. That fight should not have gone that way. I was like, are you kidding me? 1%. And I go in and I get parried. And he's just unblockable, unblockable, unblockable. I'm just like, man, y'all got to be kidding. Now, I I had a lot of the level four um, health from, you know, the long off season. I went ahead and maxed that out. Glad I did. But I was so mad. I was I was too, too mad about that. Okay, so heal up, go again. And I got another fight with Warlock. So I was just, yeah, man, this was an expensive war. I hope it's the most expensive war of the season because I don't really want to do that again. Okay, um, and I know some others had uh, expensive, uh, an expensive time as well. But you guys know I'm stingy with the items. I hate having to use those items very very frugal all right at least he doesn't auto block i forgot that um shocker auto blocks and paid for it but that parry nah that wasn't right that was not right but anyway we got him down and we didn't lose too much health we're good okay um now i was asked to do Bishop. This fight was a learning experience. Okay. And I learned something about fighting Bishop that I didn't know. So going into this, I've fought Bishop before with Warlock. And I was like, okay, I know I need to basically avoid bleeding him. Okay, don't want to bleed him. But then if you notice, um, I was, uh, I, I kind of read it, the Conflictor. But with Warlock, I shouldn't have to worry about that. But I have to get those infections on him. Otherwise, I need to worry about the Conflictor. So, I'm like, all right, let's go in. I was told to do this, by the way. Um, advanced power boost. Um... Not necessarily the uh, tech special boost, but the power um, boost. And I'm like, okay, you know, probably won't get to use those too often. And so I go into this fight thinking I got this, right? I know how to do this, right? So here we go. We got power burn. Okay. 
Um, and then here is where I messed up. Do y'all know how I messed up? Look at my health. I'm just melting. Those of you who know how to fight Bishop, y'all know what I just did there. And I still don't get it because I didn't know. Okay, look at this. And I'm just watching my health melt. And I'm like, Warlock was the worst choice uh, uh, against this Bishop. No, this was me not knowing something. So I'm sitting here and I'm salty now, right? Because I'm just like, I hate losing. And I felt like I was set up to lose because I saw how I just got melted. Look look at my, um, look at the, the ending. Look at the incinerate. 80% incinerate. And if I have a choice, I'll normally go in with an incinerate immune champ. And they were like, no, no, go back in. Um, you have the best option, right? And so I said, okay, but you got to tell me something. I will do this again, but tell me why I was incinerating. I posted up the video and everything, and they told me why. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So for those who don't know, after Bishop fires a special one, he gets a little buff. And if you stay close to him, you're going to get incinerated. So... The strategy is to try to push him to a special two every time you can. See, I didn't know that. Okay? So you want to push him to a special two, and then you'll be okay. It'll be a straightforward fight. Now, if he fires his special one, you need to stay away from him. Okay? Um, otherwise, you'll get incinerated. Now, if you have an incinerate immune... You don't have to worry about that. So I'm like, okay, now knowing this, I'm armed with some new knowledge, right? And so I'm like, okay, I got to play it a little bit differently, but I'm still not used to this style. And I, and I do something incorrect, but again, we got the power, uh, boost and the, um, advanced, uh, power boost, right? Okay. So here we go. And I'm trying to parry to get the um, infections up. But he started with a bar. And so instead of pushing him to a special two, I let him get that special off. But you see how I'm standing away from him? See? I'm not getting But I'm in the corner. Now I'm trapped. Look at this. I'm trying to keep get away from him, but I'm in the corner. I got nowhere to go. All right. Now, I got to get him to the special two. There we go. Conflictor is giving him power, but I'm good. Okay, but look, ah, it drained him, so he got another special, uh, special one off. So I'm just like, okay, and I'm backing off, still getting incinerated, still getting incinerated. So I, I kind of played that one badly because I let him get, and I'm sitting there now thinking I am about to die again. Okay, so you see what I was doing wrong is I was not finishing my, I was finishing my combos, but I need to not finish it, block immediately so that he will not fire that special one. I got to avoid the special one. Play aggressive, but avoid the special one. Uh, in that particular fight there, I kind of messed up because he, was, he already had power from the last fight, okay? And so I should have pushed him to a special two Got that out of him, and then I would have had the fight uh, better under control. All right, but anyway, uh, that was it for my participation in this war. And we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. But look at the score. Look at how close... This war was. Had I not died those two times, we would have won. I know I'm not supposed to think of it that way, but you know I can't help it. Going in there with Titania was a mistake. That was a death that I could have avoided very easily. And the other, I just didn't know about uh, Bishop. But that was two deaths 
that I just, I, I feel so bad because the war was so close. So, so close. All right. Um, but anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Wait for the next war. We already have that um, recorded. And uh, you'll probably see that one probably the day after um, this one. Okay? So take care. And you all have a blessed day.